Pastor Nice Mollis, a spiritual counselor of our association, and the civil liaison to the community. I would like to thank our friends, Mayor Sullivan, and all the city officials that are here, the city everyone in our community. One thing here, as you just said, this is an important day for us as an Angola. And we would like also to thank one more time the city of Brockton, the city of Champion. It's the only city. It's the only city in the United States that allow others flag be raised in their city. We are the only city in the United States. We as an Angola, we are so thankful to you guys. For this day that you have granted us to celebrate Angola Flag Day. I would like to say a word of prayer by reading the book of Jeremiah 29, 7, where it says, And walk for the peace and the prosperity of the city where I sent you. Pray the Lord for it, for its welfare will determine your welfare. If the city of Brockton live prosperity, we also as a Broughtonian we will live prosperity. That's why we as a Broughtonian, we as an Angola community, we try to do our best to keep the city in peace. We try to do our best to contribute in the city. Let us pray. Father, as you said, for us to pray for the welfare of the city. Father, we pray for all the elected officials. Father, we pray for Mayor Sullivan. Father, we pray for uh, uh, the city officials. We pray for uh, the, the, the fire uh, uh, officer. We pray for the, 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 the police officer. We pray for all the teachers or any kind of people that are playing any kind of leadership in this city. Father, we pray for this peace, we pray for the prosperity, and we pray for this event. Everything that will be done or said, we dedicate in your holy hand. We say it. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Mayor Sullivan, and your office uh, for hosting us again in what has become a tradition. Uh, we deeply appreciate it. I can't help but have some recall of the former mayor, uh, Mayor Carpenter, uh, and uh, a great friend of the immigrant community. And I am so happy to see that you, Mayor Sullivan, have continued that tradition. Uh, I'll first say a few things about the meaning of this day. Other speakers have already stressed that. Uh, today, we mark uh, Peace Day in Angola. Many of us that are here know uh, from experience uh, the value of peace. Uh, we know from, from experience the value of peace, having lived about 30 years uh, through a civil war. So it is a day that is right at par with our independence, which we celebrate in November. And in many ways, it's much more meaningful because we knew what it was to live uh, uh, in war times, and we know how to appreciate peace now. Uh, it also made, uh, marks, uh, uh, it's a day where we celebrate the unity of Angolans uh, because that's when we finally achieved political stability and where all the factions decided to come together and resolve our issues peacefully. So it's a very meaningful day to all Angolans. I know I speak for many. I know I certainly feel that way. Um, next, I'll talk a little bit about the Angolan community here in Brockton. I suspect that one of the reasons that Delano asked me 
to talk about that is that I'm one, one of the ones that has been here the longest, having arrived in the United, in the United States in 81. So I have seen the community here uh, from the start, and I have seen it establish and grow. Uh, I think most Angolans that live in Brockton, which is probably the largest uh, Angolan community in Massachusetts, and perhaps one of the largest in the country, uh, most Angolans, Angolans started to arrive in large numbers in the early 90s. And uh, at the time, we enjoyed uh, protective status, uh, immigration protective status, and many, uh, again, leaving the war and looking for opportunities came during that time. Many very young, uh, in the 20s, some even younger. I have seen many of those people form a family, go to college, establish businesses. Uh, so although we are a relatively small community compared to uh, Brockton is an immigrant city, as we all know, and uh, compared to the Cape Verdean and Haitian community, for instance, we are much smaller, but we are very, very present. Uh, all you have to do is drive down Center Street to see what is our biggest symbol in the community, the Shlorento London, glad to see Eduardo and Amelia, whom we thank uh, for that visit. And, uh, and, and like I said, at least in my circles, and when I see other Angolans, uh, there are people who are trying to better themselves, they're trying to go to school, they're trying to do the right thing, uh, very much want to be uh, a part of this community and contribute to its progress and, and its growth. And that's how we would like the mayor's office to perceive our community. We also say that uh, you can come on us uh, whenever and for whatever, whatever pur uh, purposes that have to do with making this community better. Uh, we have an association, as you know, the Lanois Anu president, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I have been involved from time to time and still am more uh, in, in council than anything, but uh, but we do uh, have an organization, and, and it's been difficult, but we've tried to stay organized and uh, do things like this event, uh, as well as other events, even trying uh, to help people back in Angola. So, uh, you know, we really appreciate this opportunity. Uh, we thank you. Uh, as Pastor Wallace said, this is probably the only place in the country where they afford us this nice opportunity, so it's very nice, and we just want to say that uh, you can count on us uh, to be a big part of this community and to uh, to contribute to the growth of this city, and thank you very much. is at the moment present in what is perhaps the 
largest public sector in the, in, uh, in the state of Massachusetts, the renovation and expansions of the Green Line in Boston. The Luanda restaurant that already was mentioned by Mr. Carlos Brigo and uh, is also part of the, our community was recently front page news in the Enterprise newspaper in Brockton. These are just two small examples of the strange and the contribution of our Angolan community in Brockton and USA in general because Angolans are living uh, in a few different states doing our is part too, you know. As a community, we will continue to work towards always improving and contributing to the Brockton incrementalment and uh, for that we count on your collaboration and full support. Thank you very much. Thank you and welcome everyone. My name is Mike Brady. I'm the state senator representing the second Plymouth Bristol, which encompasses the city of Brockton and several towns around. And you are all very welcome here. This is a very hollow, sacred building we're in right now. It's very historic. And I know. In Angola, you suffered a very tough civil war. We had a civil war here in the 1800s, and this room is dedicated to some of the veterans, and some of the names in these flats behind me are dedicated to the soldiers that fought for our country during the civil war and had died. And uh, there's, there's other wars that they recognize as well, but this was once North Bridgewater, before it was a city of Brockton, and as a population grew, it became a city. And we appreciate all of your input because we have been a city of immigrants and a country of immigrants for many, many years. And we appreciate all your input because you are now the business owners. Like Luanda Restaurant, I want to thank you from the bottom of the heart. We've had many, many functions there over the years and many U.S. senators came to visit. I had a, events there. Many of our local officials and our mayor. We are so grateful and we all work together. And we are known for the CBA chair to speak to some of the history of our sports figures like Dr. Marciano, Marvin Angler, but we are the city of champions because of all of the input of the residents who give their heart and soul back to our community. And I want to be, I'm grateful that the young children are here because we as elected officials, we as elected officials work for you. You, you vote us into office, you are our bosses. And we are now implementing the highest increase in public education in the history of the Commonwealth with a Student Opportunity Act, which is long overdue, so we can be more champions of those young people. <laughs> and, and any other help that we can be, please don't hesitate to contact us. We have a champion, our mayor, we have a champion with our council, Jack Lally, and many other officials. And I know some of our other state elected officials couldn't be here today. One of our State representatives got the second vaccine, so they're recovering from that. And please, that uh, if you know anybody who has not gotten the vaccine, it's so important to spread the word. It is safe. We have to vaccinate all our residents so people will be able to go back to a somewhat normal life so we can help our businesses and be, have the schools open and everything else so we can keep everybody safe. Because we work for everybody and want to make sure our community is safe. And one last note, I did read a little history that the name Angola means king. And it's very important that you in the audience are all kings and queens. The men are the kings and the women are the queens, but our young children, they're our future leaders. And hopefully someday they can be running for public office and serve our community as elected officials because that's why we are so focused on education and getting the funding for education. And again, for the business community, we also had state federal grants out there, so some of our businesses in Brock were able to get grants to help them because I know a lot of businesses have suffered during the coronavirus. So if we can be of any help, please don't hesitate to contact us. So God bless you all. God bless the friends from Angola and God bless the United States of America. Hey everybody, thanks for coming out. My name is Jack Lally, I'm the Ward 6 counselor. I'm going to move away from the microphone. Um, 
you know, I, I really appreciate everyone coming out and, and thank you to the mayor for uh, putting this on. Uh, I think it's incredibly significant that this is the only city that, that really takes the time to do this kind of thing. Um, the, so, something that I think is really important is, you know, the country of Angola had just, you know, is this recovering from the Civil War. And for that, you know, the, the people of Angola know much more, much more intimately, much more significantly than, than you know, that I do or some of my colleagues, the, the value and the significance of peace and being able to, and being able to, to have that security and to, have, to, to work together. And, you know, and, and, and we've seen the, the, the population, the Angolan population in Brockton grow and we're very encouraged by it. And they, you know, every, jumping into business, jumping into public life, into schools, and this is what we need. We need the, the advocacy, the knowledge that you bring to us. Uh, there, is no, there is no greater champion than an advocate for peace. And so you are right here, right at home in the city of champions, and we appreciate you being here. Thank you, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I want to first of all thank you for being here. Um, most of you live in the city of Brockton, but if you're visiting, welcome. This is the city of champions. This is what it means to live in the city of Brockton. Coming together as one, coming together as a community. I have had nothing but love and support and warmth from the Angolan community, even before I became mayor. Pastor Knights uh, prays with me every other Friday. We have an 8.30 prayer session with many pastors. He's always there praying for me, praying for my children, praying for my wife, but praying for the community that we call home. All of us call Brockton home. That's what makes Brockton so special. You know, we have always been a beautiful, diverse community of immigrants. I've said this many times. My own grandparents came from Ireland to Brockton to work in the factories. I'm a dual citizen. I have a, an American citizenship. That's why I'm, I'm honored to, to pledge allegiance, but I'm also a citizen of the Republic of Ireland. So to have so many wonderful people coming here on a Saturday, you don't need to be here. But this is a reflection of what Brockton's about. People coming together to honor and respect. Now we have to take a moment of silence because we have lost 422 residents to the deadly virus known as COVID. So respectfully, if we could please honor their memories with a moment of silence. May they rest in peace, our thoughts and prayers to their surviving loved ones. So if you go into my office, ladies and gentlemen, you'll see pictures of my wife and my kids. There's only one plaque that I have in there. It was given to me by the wonderful Angolan Association last year. It hangs on my wall. And every single day I look at it and I say thank you. Not because of the words, but because of the meaning, the warmth and the love and the support. So today is a day to honor and respect and remember. But that's what we always do every single day. And as what Senator Brady just said, it's the next generation. You know, my title is, 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 is Mayor of Rockton, and it's an honor and a privilege. But my number one job is dad to three children. They're the next ones. So we have to foster the ability to make sure that they flourish and they grow. And the number one thing right now is if you're eligible to get vaccine, please do. None of us want to continue to wear these masks. But I want to take a moment to thank the business owners. They have taken a leap of faith in Brockton. <laughs> we have learned from COVID that businesses have not been able to survive. And that's a sad commentary. It's a fact. So we need to come together as a community to come up with financial assistance and the ability to, to replenish and rebuild and refocus and repivot. That's what we need to do. And we will do that under my administration. There's no doubt about that. COVID will eventually be gone. It will be a sad commentary. Our community will be changed forever. Emotionally, financially, physically. The change is real. The change is every day. Worst part of my job is at 4 o'clock. I get the death count and the sick count every day at 4 o'clock. And I yearn for the day that someone calls me at 4 and says, Mayor, nobody's died, nobody's sick. But we're not there yet. So today is a day to remember and reflect, but it's also to acknowledge the wonderful, wonderful fabric in the city of Brockton known as the Angolan people. Thanks, Jim. Absolutely. I want, to, I want to thank DCA for coming in today, Brockton Community Access on the Saturday to film this. I want 
want to thank my own team. We have John Messia, we have Davison Perez, we have uh, Jensen Denois, uh, folks that are just dedicated to the cause of a better Brockton for everybody. But right now I want to read a proclamation, and it truly is my honor to do this. I was proud to do it last year, and I'm just equally as proud. Next year it won't rain. Next year we'll be outside, but I'll tell you. Proclamation from the city of Brockton, Mayor Robert F. Sullivan. Whereas Angola was liberated from Portuguese rule in 1975 in an act which demonstrated the resolute spirit that has characterized Angolan culture through the ages. Whereas the growth and prosperity of Brockton, Massachusetts, the city of champions, is due in large part to an ethnic diversity which truly includes the Angolan population and people. Whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of Angolan customs and food, without question, food, <laughs> and culture, which were brought here by the Angolan immigrants which have made an indelible mark on the city. Whereas it is an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens of Angolan ancestry, to extend to them best wishes for continued success and prosperity here in the city of Brockton, Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the country known as the United States of America. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, Mayor of the City of Brockton, proclaim April 17th, 2021, in the City of Brockton, Angolan Independence Day. I urge all residents in the City of Brockton to join me in observing this day, and it's going to be a wonderful endeavor to hoist this flag here in the confines known as the City Hall, City of Massachusetts, and Brockton. So again, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for what you do on a daily basis. We need to continue to work together to get through this and prosper together. God bless you and thank you. Believe me, 
in the Italian state. So, promoting of that, are you learning? All of us passed like that when we came in here. We went to community, and associate community college, very important. Um, GED, ESL, Broughton offer us a lot. So we are very grateful. So Broughton Fair, we're not a lot of Broughton Fair. We saw that this year probably is not going to now. Yeah, we I, I learned that. And next year, next year. Also Broughton offers that uh, a DWC park. You know, when I go to New York City, I see that uh, uh, Central Park behind me, that uh, WD Park behind me, Central Park. So we are really, with Broughton always had good neighbors, food, restaurant, from Portuguese, Italian, Asian, you know, even Swedish, you find your thing in Broughton. So we really are pleased to make Broughton our own. May I like to tell you that, you know, we are here to stay. We are raising our children here. So we are building business, as our board director said, we contribute to our local economy. So we want to let you know that come on us. We're here to solve problems. So as long as we're going to be here, we always be. We don't, we don't take anything for granted. So we are hard worker, peaceful community. So we don't cause much troubles. So we're here because we love the city, offer us a lot. So we think that we can give back. This is our time to give back. So I've been living in this community. I want to maintain straight communication with you. Also, I talk to our local officials, state officials. So we'll be meeting very soon. We see, because we have, we have needs. I'm going to say needs. We are dreaming to have one day our own headquarters that Kevin community has. We have after school program. So I've been working with my one of my team members right here. So we put it in detail. We have one day, City Council Jacqueline open us the, the door of the City Council. We have something to share and to see how we can bring our city forward. Thank you very much. Thank you.